All right, so I haven't talked about it yet to the camera because I've been really sad, but um, as Dominic explained earlier, we lost our chickens last week. The neighbor's dog got into our coop and um, I guess he was taking them back and forth and he got nine of them, so we had two left. We're really fortunate that our other neighbors saw the dog come over and made sure that everything was kind of taken care of so we didn't get home and the kids see everything that had happened. And you know, it was like, I know that these things happen and I knew that um, it was eventually gonna happen to us. I just didn't think it was gonna happen so soon. And I was really sad. I mean, I, I still am really sad. And it's hard cause like, um, you know, I'm editing videos and watching old videos that we have like of the chickens and they're just, just really like them. Brought me a lot of joy. And, uh, you know, it's just a sad thing to happen. But, um, again, we're really fortunate that my cousin um, found, like, one of her friends. They're a little further up north. Um, one of her friends has chickens every summer and then gives them away in the winter. So we have adopted eight more chickens. There's two Orphingtons, I think buff Orphingtons, and I guess six brown commercial layers like the ones that we had earlier. Um, they're all a lot younger and they're really molting and a lot smaller, which is obviously fine. But um, so we're really, really grateful that we have the new chickens. And the two that were left over, or the two brown ones are, they seem like they're fine. I think they're laying eggs again, so hopefully they're not too stressed out. And yeah, so the only thing is like, all of the commercial layers, like the brown ones, are kind of wandering around the yard in the coop, and the Orphington are just like up in the roosts. They're, they're not coming out. <laughs> um, I guess that there was a hawk attack right before we got them at their previous home, and they might be a little bit stressed out about it. So Dominic took them outside and put them in the coop and they went right back inside. Um, they are eating, fortunately. So, like, that's a good sign. I'm gonna give them a few days. I'm gonna give them however long they need, I guess. I mean, they're fine in there. As long as they're eating and drinking water, um, they're okay. But they seem like they're a little bit spooked. And they're just hanging up on that, hanging up on that roost. And then the other ones that we got, the brown ones, I went in last night to put the food in and close up the coop. And there was like four of them on one nesting box. There was like three that fit and then one was sitting on top of them. So, Dominic, what was it like in the morning? Were they were they still in the nesting box in the morning or were they in the, on the roosts? What? Were they still on the nesting box in the morning or were they up on the roosts? Um, it was already light out when I left. Oh, them, yeah. So they were up around. It's hard to tell, so maybe we'll figure out tomorrow morning. I'm sure that they, like, get up on the roost. Hopefully. Either way, you know. That's it. So, we'll show you... Yeah, they are up on the roosts. So we're gonna show you the um, the new chicken flock, and it seems like the like the two flocks coming together doesn't really seem to be a problem. I think like they're both coming from like the two are left over, and then the other ones are all coming from somewhere and going somewhere new, and they've all had some sort of tragedy very recently. So I think they're all just dealing with it fine. So anyway, here's the new chickens. Uh, putting the hardware cloth around, stapling it, and then screwing in two by two straps there. So, nothing's pulling that off now, I don't think. <laughs> 